Fresno County Assistant Sheriff Steve McComas says he's seen and heard some disgusting things in 26 years at the sheriff's office. But what his former correctional officer, Tina Gonzalez, did is at the top of the list. Cutting a hole in your pants to make it easier to have sex with an inmate and having intercourse in full view of 11 other inmates is something only a depraved mind can come up with. McComas says Gonzalez betrayed her oath even worse when she put her fellow correctional officers at risk. She gave the inmate razor blades, a cell phone, and critical jail intelligence. And at times communicated sensitive information to the inmate about individuals that were entering the inmate's pod, as well as times and places or times when the pod would be searched. Gonzalez didn't say anything at her sentencing Tuesday, but her attorney said her marriage was falling apart when she started a relationship with the inmates. It lasted more than a year before investigators caught her, and phone calls after her December 2019 arrest reveal it's continued. The fact that she continually calls, has sexually explicit conversations with the inmate in question, and even boasts about the crime she carried out shows that she's incapable of owning up to her mistakes and will undoubtedly continue in the future. Judge Michael Idiart could have sent Gonzalez to jail for up to 16 months, but noted she had no prior criminal history and admitted her crimes early. I think what you did was terrible, stupid. You ruined your career. You endangered your fellow officers. But I also believe that people can redeem themselves. You got the rest of your life to prove that. Gonzalez only has to serve 210 days in jail, and with time credits, she could be out by the middle of October. In downtown Fresno, Corin Hoggard, ABC 30 Action News. So let me get this straight. This married woman, even after being arrested for what she did, was still having inappropriate phone calls with the inmates in question. It said that she is incapable of owning up to her mistakes, clearly, but yet she's only going to do 200 and so days in jail. I wonder if this was a man, would he receive the exact same sentence? No, right? They, this is what they should do. This is what the court system should do. They should take a scenario, take a situation just like this one here with this woman. Instead, make it a man. Put the theory out there that it's a man. What would they charge the man in this case? Whatever they would charge the man is what they should charge this woman. They're giving her a slap on the wrist because this is her first prior. But it almost seemed as though they ignored the fact that this woman was bringing in razor blades for these inmates. Razor blades, which can in turn hurt the other correction officers, as well as bringing other contraband into the prison for these inmates. The 16 months that they were going to give her, they probably should have gave her, but instead they're giving her less than a year, a little slap on the wrist. Now, if this was a black woman that did the same thing, I wonder what kind of sentence she would get. There is an ongoing case right now, four days ago, a black woman right here in Georgia, a correction officer, was arrested for being inappropriate with cellmates in the Fulton County Jail. Let's check out that story. <laughs> Sheriff Patrick announced that a former detention officer with the Fulton County Sheriff's Office is facing more than a dozen charges after being arrested on March 20th of 2023. Kawana Jenkins, 36 years old, is charged with two counts of improper sexual contact by employee or agent, five counts of violation of oath by a public officer, two counts of reckless conduct, two counts of cruelty to an inmate. Dang, that's what they call it and one count of giving inmates prohibited items without authorization. Jenkin has been employed with the Fulton County Sheriff's Office since December 2019. This is the part that kills me right here. This is how she got caught. Jenkins is accused of inappropriate behavior with the male inmate. The incident, which led to her termination and subsequent arrest, was videotaped in the contraband cell phone, which was seized during a shakedown of the Fulton County Jail. Upon confirmation that Jenkins was the subject in the video, she was terminated and charged in relation to the crimes committed. Remember, y'all, they said that this woman did pretty much the same thing that the other woman did, but she was charged with over a dozen crimes that they proclaimed she committed.
Now, this is an ongoing case, so we don't know the extent of this, but will it turn out similar to how the other woman did if this woman indeed has no other previous priors? Or we can put it on different state, different case, different law, so throw the book at her. I'm curious to see how this will turn out. Y'all, leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. See ya.